YouTube. This is a video on how to fix a Price Fister water faucet. What a silly name, Price Fister. I wouldn't name my company Price Fister. Anyway, I'm trying to show the logo. So what was happening was that the hot water here was constantly dripping. Even when in the off position, we were getting like a drip, 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 constant. So after a long uh, bout of procrastination, I finally got the balls up to do some research and figure out how we can fix this. So your first thing you're going to need a couple different things. Uh, if you have a price fister, you're going to need an Allen wrench. The hardest thing about this project, believe it or not, was for me to find an Allen, an Allen key or Allen wrench that fit the, uh, the actual hole underneath the faucet correctly. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn off the hot and cold water. Ignore all my product. All right, there's my hot water and your cold water. You're going to want to turn them both off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use your Allen key or Allen wrench, depending on what part of the country you live in or how you're raised, whatever you call that. And you're going to insert it in here and actually loosen this. Let's see if I can get a good, there we go. And you're going to loosen that. You'd crank that a couple times until, you know, I'm not sure what direction, I think to the uh, counterclockwise actually to loosen it in this case. And I may be wrong. You might want to test it yourself. And then when that's done, you can lift this off. And what you'll see under here is the valve. Uh, to remove the valve that's in place, what you'll do is use a wrench very carefully. Grab this. Try not to scuff it up because it is brass, I think. I think brass is subject to scratching. I just used a big old fat wrench I have here. You could use anything, maybe even a socket if you had one long enough to fit over the tip of that. And grab it and remove it. And when you remove it, you'll see something that looks like this. This is the one that came out of here. Um, and uh, what I did is I took this, I went to Home Depot, and I found this replacement. Note that this was for a hot water valve. I think the hot and cold are different in the Price Fister. Uh, I assume that doesn't actually have much to do with the flow. I think it has to do with uh, the angles. Because when the hot and the hot, uh, you know, you crank to the left, and the cold, you crank to the right. And I think the valves are probably mirrored of each other. Uh, I am not a plumber, so don't take my word for it, but that's my suspicion. So after I replaced the valve, uh, you know, I went ahead and I cut the water back on and I put this, you know, put my, whoops, put my, uh, one important thing is make sure you align this uh, with this thingy facing the front of your, uh, the front of your faucet. If I had mine a little off and the handle was sitting a little crooked back to the back, try to line it up. You may have to tweak it and adjust it and go back and forth. Anyway. After you put that back on, go back underneath, turn the water back on, here, here, here. and with any luck, yay, we have hot water again, never shall we procrastinate. If you turn it back on and your faucet looks like this, you've done something wrong. No, actually just take it and adjust it till it gets straight again. And that is how to fix a Price Fister uh, leaky faucet. Specifically the hot water, but the cold water would be almost similar. So good luck. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, death threats, or things that you saw that I did wrong. I'm not a plumber, and best of luck to you.